Victor by Tommy Unger. Once upon a time in a little French town lived an old lady whose name was Madame Louise Baudot. She had one son who was in Africa studying reptiles. One morning, the mailman brought her a peculiar O-shaped box. Madame Baudot screamed when she opened it. It was a snake her son had sent her for her birthday. To make sure it was not a poisonous snake, she went to the zoo. She identified it as a boa constrictor. So she called her animal Crichter. Madame Baudot mothered her new pet, feeding it bottles of milk. She bought palm trees so Crichter could really feel at home. As dogs do when they're happy, he wagged his tail. Well fed, Crichter grew longer and longer and stronger and stronger. The boa followed his mistress when she went shopping. Everyone was astonished. Madame Baudot knitted a long woolen sweater for her pet to wear on cold days. Crichter also had a warm, comfortable bed. There he would dream happily under his palm trees. In the winter, it was fun for Crichter to wriggle in the snow. Madame Baudot taught at the public school. One day she decided to take Crichter to her classes. Soon Crichter learned to shape the alphabet in his own way. S as in snake. E as in elephant. N as in nothing. O as in oak. L as in lion. M as in man. G as in glass. W as in whale. He could count two forming fingers. Two for two hands. Three for the three little pigs. Four for the four legs of a dog. Five for your five fingers. Six for the six legs of a bug. Seven for the seven dwarfs. Eight for the eight arms of the octopus. The boa liked to play with little boys. And little girls too. He helped the scouts learn to tie knots. Crichter was a very helpful snake. One day in a sidewalk cafe, Madame Baudot heard from a friend at the next table that there had been a series of thefts in the town. That very night, the burglar broke into her apartment. Madame Baudot was already gagged and tied to a chair when the faithful boa awoke and furiously attacked the burglar. The villain's terrified shrieks awoke the neighbors. Crichter remained coiled around him until the police arrived. For his bravery, a nice medal was awarded to the heroic snake. Crichter even inspired the local sculptor to make a statue in his honor. And the city dedicated a park to him. Loved and respected by the entire village, Crichter lived a long and happy life. The end. <laughs>